Hey everybody, let's talk about the Galaxy Note 20. There have been plenty of reports out there and we're gonna sum them up all for you. First up, the name. It's probably going to be called the Galaxy Note 20 to keep them in line with the Galaxy S. Way back in 2017, Samsung skipped the Note 6 so the Note and the Galaxy S could share the 7 name. And we all remember the Galaxy Note 7, right? It was an awesome phone. It had a great design. Well, except for that battery setup that had a tendency to catch fire and all. Anyway, Samsung jumped from the Galaxy S10 to the Galaxy S20. The Note should be bumped to 20 for the sake of consistency. Okay, so beyond the name, what about hardware? The very reliable Ice Universe tweeted, Galaxy Note 20's hardware specifications will not be significantly changed compared to the S20 series, including cameras. And good old Max Weinbach from XDA Developers tweeted, basically everything is the same. Just think S series with an S pen and squared off corners. Okie dokie, let's break that down a little bit then. The S and Note usually use the latest processors, so we can expect the Note 20 to pack in the Qualcomm Snapdragon 865. That's not really a surprise. Then we've got the cameras from the Galaxy S20. Samsung made a big deal of the new cameras on the Galaxy S20. Samsung calls it a pro-grade multi-camera. The Ultra has a 12 megapixel ultra wide camera, 108 megapixel wide angle camera, and a 48 megapixel telephoto camera. And of course, Samsung has what it calls its 100X Space Zoom. So there was a problem with Samsung's amazing camera. Apparently, the cameras on the S20 Ultra, that's the expensive one, had trouble with autofocus. These problems did not affect the S20 and S20 Plus though. Samsung is now rolling out a software update that should fix the autofocus issues. If you've got the S20, head to settings and then get that software update. So if the Note 20 is sharing the S20's camera components, then maybe the Note 20's autofocus will work right out of the box. That's a plus. Let's talk about storage. Sam Mobile reports that the Galaxy Note 20 is in development with 128 gigabytes of storage. Wait, 128 gigabytes. That same report postulates that the Note 20 could come with a micro SD card slot if this was the case, considering 128 gigs might be on the small side. The Note 10 has 256 gigabytes of storage, but no room for expansion. The 10 Plus comes in 256 and 512 gigabyte models. The Plus models also have a micro SD card slot. There is a chance that the Note 20 might be using faster storage than before. Samsung published a press release saying it has begun mass production of the fastest storage for flagship phones. Samsung says this new memory tech will deliver three times the write speed of the previous tech. What does that mean? Samsung says that phones with this new EUFS 3.1 tech will take only about 1.5 minutes to move 100 gigabytes of data. Let me say that again, 100 gigabytes moved in around 90 seconds. That's insane. The older tech took more than four minutes. Samsung says this faster memory would be very useful when you're storing lots of huge photos and 8K videos. Maybe this new EUFS 3.1 will end up in the Note 20 to give it some kind of different technology than the S20. There are still a lot of questions about the Note 20. Let's talk about screen sizes. The S20 lineup features models with huge screens. The S20 has a 6.2 inch display, the Plus a 6.7 inch, and the Ultra has a massive 6.9 inch screen. Note phones are usually larger than the Galaxy S. How large can the Note get while remaining a phone? Can it get to seven inches? Maybe. It seems kind of nuts to think of a phone that big. If the Note 20 and S20 are going to be very similar, except for the S Pen, do they both continue to exist? Way back in September of 2019, Evan Blast tweeted that Samsung is said to be debating future Galaxy branding, including eliminating the distinction between the S and Note lines. He also tweeted, since the S and Note features overlap so closely, one possibility is to simply fuse them into a single first half handset, essentially an S series with an S Pen. 
With the Galaxy Z Flip and the Galaxy Fold, maybe the Note does not have a long life ahead before finally converging with the S. Maybe we're getting the Galaxy S20 Note in August. I still maintain that the Galaxy Fold should get S Pen support. That is, once the screen is tough enough to write on. If you've got any questions, comments, or news, let me know on Twitter. I'm at Ayaz. Also, I have an interview up with the head of Google Assistant there. Check it out. I'm Ayaz Akhtar, and I'll see you online.